Works to the right side, right hash to Lumpkin, back between the circles to Arledge. Arledge works right side, Dixon, she'll set, shoots a three, good. Linda Dixon. Arledge with the basketball over her head, works it right wing to Lumpkin. Lumpkin looking, gets a screen, sets, shoots a three, good. Back to back threes for Morehead State. Approaching the 12 minute mark, 12.25 exactly left to play here in the first half. E-Twin right corner shoots a three, good. E-Twin with her 11th three pointer of the season. Working off the double high stack now. Takes it left side with the left handed dribble. She'll take it baseline and goes to the corner to Dixon. Dixon thought about shooting the three on the drive. Running five footer. Rolls around and drops through. Linda Dixon. Hanley brings it up to the hash. Now crosses over. Takes up her dribble. And throws it away. Jones with it. Jones going to take it coast to coast. Drive. Right hand layup. Good. Five points from the freshman from Cincinnati. Lumpkin to Harris. Top of the key. Now left side Dixon, fakes, drives, pull up, seven footer good. Dixon now with nine points in this first half. Kyle works off to Lumpkin. Lumpkin pulls up, 10 footer good. The senior, Jones right side will even out the floor for Morehead State. Kicks it left side. On the drive, baseline up in. Wow, the freshman has improved so much this season. And another steal by Robinson, puts it up in and she'll draw the foul. Let's go Eagles! Keep it going ladies, stay tough! Woo! Dixon on the left side with the left hand dribble, spins in the paint, running jumper, good! Dixon four points in the second half. Jones. Floats it up to Kyle. Kyle works the right side. Lumpkin left alone. Shoots a three. Good. Lumpkin with her second three. Lumpkin now with 13. And it's 54-39. Biggest lead of the game for Morehead State. Jones brings it across the time stripe. Seven minutes left to play. Drives. Kicks it left side. E-Twin puts it up and in. Tyler E-Twin now with five points. 59-50, Morehead State on top by nine. 4.22 to play. Ocheski crosses over, works left side, hands off to Hanley. Hanley working against Robinson this time, goes low, puts it up in, and Robinson doesn't make sure she doesn't knock the ball away. Hits Hanley. Morehead State's lead's been trimmed to four. Lumpkin, 3.28 to play. Drives baseline. Had it stripped away, no foul. Martinez with it. Martinez. Works it right side, baseline, stay back, puts it up, good. 59-57 with 3.12 to play. Gocheski at the right hash, on the dribble with the right hand, goes nice, deflected away by Etwin. Etwin will drive, puts it up and in. Etwin with the steal and the bucket, and Morehead State takes the timeout. Dixon, Lumpkin, Jones, and Harris left to right as they line up on the Austin P free throw line. Robinson works it into Jones. Here we go, three seconds. Jones drives at the free throw line. 15 footer, no good, might have been hit. But like I said, they're not going to call it. And we'll have overtime for Morehead State. Jones brings it across for Morehead State, working against Ocheski. Jones works it left side. Dixon, she'll set, shoots a three, good! Dixon's second three-pointer. Dixon was 16, and it's 64-61. Eagles regain the lead. Jones directs some traffic from the left side up to Lumpkin. Eight on the shot clock. Lumpkin on the drive against Hanley. Finds Dixon. Dixon will drive. Leans in. Five-footer good. Money shot there. Dixon. Hanley in backcourt being matched up against Dixon. Works it left. Now right. Drives baseline. Puts it up against Lumpkin. Banks it home. That was a tough shot by the senior guard. Jones comes across at 10. To the right side at seven. Jones looking for some help. Jones to Dixon, straight away, shoots the three. Good with 1.8 seconds to play. Austin P brings it up. Hanley from three quarter court, no good. That was a long 1.8 seconds as Dixon hits the jumper. She now has 21 and we're going into the second overtime. Goes back left side, Dixon. Dixon on the baseline move, kicks it to Lumpkin in the left corner, nine on the shot clock. Lumpkin in the paint, drives, puts it up, good, and she's fouled. So give Courtney the shot. Hanley drives at the free throw line, baseline, runs over Dixon, and they'll call the foul on Linda Dixon. 
Don't know about that one. Robinson gets the basketball, gets it into Harris. Shot clock off, four seconds. Robinson on the drive, puts it up, no good. And Austin P escapes 84-83 over Moorhead State. Very proud, very proud of uh, our young ladies and how hard they, they fought uh, through adversity and uh, being able to, to give ourselves a great opportunity to win the basketball game. Sometimes I wish I could go back to my freshman year and play and start all over again. Uh, I've played with some great players. I've played with great, uh, had great coaches over my past four years. Um, I give credit to all of them. They made this experience what it is. And um, although the outcome didn't come out like I wanted to, I, I don't regret anything. Everything happens for a reason, and I'm I'm cool with that because I know they're gonna be okay next year. They're gonna be all right.